dung beetles. They're our amazing workers on farm. The dung beetle is a small creature. It actually eats the manure and the moisture out of the manure and then takes it down into the ground as a ball where it lays its egg for the egg to develop in the ground. I've become more aware of what we've got, which is our autumn and winter species, and then that gap in the spring-summer, which is what the project is trying to fill. So dung beetles currently are active during autumn and winter in large numbers, but we found that there's been a gap in spring-summer activity, and that's what these beetles are aimed at filling. We're more conscious of what the advantages have of having dung beetles. More manure being turned over throughout the year period, which has to be a benefit to the soil and the grass growth. They've dug up the soil and that soil will then be on top of the manure. And then we can see that they've taken it down into that tunnel. And once they've taken that ball of manure and deposited it down there that they'll use to be able to lay their eggs in, is then that's decomposing back into our soils. So the two species that have been put into the nurseries are Vaca and Bubalis. The landholders are basically raising them in the nurseries to breed up the numbers enough that hopefully in the next season can be transposed to another landholder who will then take the nursery. Our dung beetle nurseries each has its own species, vacca in one, bubalis in the other. Every four or five days they get a couple of litres of dung and they're turning that over, burying their brood balls and an egg for the next season and the next generation of dung beetles. When we had the dung beetles brought into our system and we set the nurseries up, it made it much easier to develop and grow the dung beetles so we could then put them into the second part of the nursery system and collect them and so they can be put on to other farms in the area. And the main idea of nurseries is to have a measure of success of the project so we can harvest and actually count. We know how many went in there and then we harvest and count how many we take out. We're having all these little workers out there digging deep into our soils. We're opening up our soils to relieve that compaction of soils. It also allows when we have a rain event that we're getting that moisture down into that soil and keeping those soils moist and uh, the microbiology is working in that soil. And then also that depositing of that carbon that's being taken down into the soil, deposited down there. We're then building up our layers and once we've got that manure down there with our moistures, we're improving the quality of our soil for our production for livestock. We have a clay pan just under the surface. The beetles go down past that, which is then allowing the roots on our pastures to go down into there. It means that we're getting moisture down further into the ground. We are pasture producers primarily, so soil health, nutrients, water penetration is all part of having a productive cattle business. As well as our larger animals, it's nice to know that we've got other things that are actually working to our advantage. Removing that load of manure, we're removing flies from the system and flies are constantly an issue to um, livestock for sheep and cattle and also we're finding that we're reducing the worm load in livestock as well. So less dung means less flies, which means less uh, spread of pink eye in the late summer. And having the dung beetles as part of land care is enabling us to put more back into the community and allow other people to have dung beetles on their farms. This project has been a great success because we identified the problem, which was there was a gap within our seasons. So we only had certain activity through the year. Now with this project, we have a joint venture between two land care networks. We've been able to offer landholders and farmers all year round activity with dung beetles, which is the best value for the environment and for the farmer as well.